BJP chief JP Nadda has slammed Misa Bharti. She is the RJD leader over her remarks of putting the prime minister in jail in case the Indi bloc comes to power. In fact, uh, JP Nadda is lashing out at Misa Bharti saying that they keep abusing the prime minister. In fact, she had said that they will send the prime minister to jail and now Lalu is out on bail, who themselves are out on bail, are today threatening of putting the prime minister in jail. These are the remarks coming in from JP Nadda, who has hit back at Misa Bharti, the RJD leader and party's Lok Sabha candidate, who threatened to put the prime minister Narendra Modi and all BJP leaders in jail if India bloc wins the elections. JP Nadda now coming out and... Uh, uh, also hitting back at Misa Bharti saying that the people who have been in jail all through their lives are threatening to put the Prime Minister in jail. Such an irony and in fact he has taken severe opposition to what Misa Bharti had to say. Let's listen. Abhi abhi Misa Bharti ne, abhi ka ye itne frustrated ho gaye hain. Aap bolte ho, Modi, Modi, Modi. Aur ye Modi ji ko gali dete rete hain. ऐसे को मीसा भारती बोलती है मैं चुनाव के बाद जेल में भेजूं ऐसा फ्रस्ट्रेशन ऐसा निराशा ऐसी निराशा लालू सेहत के कारण बेल पर है कि नहीं है चारा घोटाले में इन्वॉल्व है कि नहीं है और लोगों से मीसा भारती पर अंजाम है कि नहीं है जो खुद बेल पर हो जिनसे खुद पूछताछ हो रही हो वो आज मोदी जी को गाली दे रहे हैं Arun Dhanda joins us now for the very latest on this. Arun, clearly the election campaign heating up with JP Nadda now hitting out at Misa Bharti and taking strong opposition to the choice of her words. Will the BJP raise this issue in the upcoming uh, elections and campaigns? Will they in fact move the election commission and seek action against Misa Bharti? Well, see, we'll have to wait for that if BJP approaches election commission in this regard. Of course, one thing is very clear that uh, BJP leaders have uh, started uh, speaking on this uh, and uh, they are giving it back to rather to opposition parties, uh, you know, saying that look, uh, the, look at the mental mentality and uh, uh, the tongue of these opposition leaders who are targeting Prime Minister Modi. And uh, we just heard the the address of bjp chief jp nadda who was saying that uh, who was who was rather uh, addressing the gathering and saying that you people are uh, chanting modi modi and there are people uh, who are in fact uh, wanting him to behind the bars and uh, he's saying that this is the frustration of misa bharti and of course the opposition parties who are resorting to this level where they are targeting uh, prime minister modi and he's also reminding them a person uh, uh, who has uh, been accused in the fodder scam who was in the jail and his family is talking about this uh, about prime minister modi so uh, bjp is uh, ensuring that uh, whatever opposition party leaders are saying about prime minister modi or about uh, any other bjp leader it, uh, it it reaches to the people of this country so that they can actually see uh, about uh, these opposition leaders that how they are lowering the level of uh, yes. the campaigning in this uh, elections and therefore we are seeing that uh, one after the other senior bjp leaders leaders are coming out and hitting back at Misa Bharti's uh, statement, of course, where she said that if uh, they will come to power, they will put the Prime Minister Modi behind the bars. And in fact, uh, not only this statement, if you go a little back, few weeks back, we heard what Supriya Srinit said. And then, of course, the statement right. of Randeep Surjewala. You know, all these things uh, have, in fact, uh, you know, put uh, opposition parties uh, at the back foot. And BJP has been really at the front foot to you know target opposition parties for their uh, remarks. Right. We'll talk about that in just a bit. Arun, kindly stay on with me. A couple of political reactions coming in. Let's just play them out first. वो कह रही कि जब हम सत्ता में आएंगे उनको पहला सवाल ये पूछिए आपको क्या लगता है 2029 तक तो तय है 2029 के बाद क्या होगा उस हमारे देखेंगे बाकी आपके जो स्कैम्स हैं क्या थे भाई वो फॉर्डर स्कैम था पता नहीं कौन से वो सड़कें बनी थी वो कागज पे ही बन गई जब देखा वो जमीन पे उतरी नहीं सड़क हवा में रह गई और वो पेपर पेपर पे हो गई और पता नहीं क्या क्या घोटाला हो गया उसके बाद पहले उन्होंने अपना और अपने परिवार का विचार करना चाहिए इतने प्रकार के घोटालों में और करप्शन में ये लोग अटके हुए हैं और ये कोई हमने लगाया हुआ आरोप नहीं है कोर्ट ने उनको सजा दी है 
तो इसलिए इस प्रकार की बातें कहकर लोकतंत्र का मजाक उड़ाना न्यायपालिका का मजाक उड़ाना वो छोड़ दे I don't the use of derogatory language or abuses is in the political discourse is not something that one is seeing for the first time but issuing such threats is stooping to a new low and this is coming from a party who themselves have been mired in controversies and have been behind bars for years on and see how this has in fact uh, worked in favor of bjp if you remember in 2014 uh, that manishankar ayer statement chai wala you know and how bjp in fact uh, took that issue forward and uh, you know told uh, the voters of this country that look at the mentality of these congress leaders that how targeting uh, you know a prime minister uh, you know uh, prime minister modi and in fact in 2019 when that uh, you know uh, chokidar chor has slogan was coined by you know congress party you know and then of course we saw the repercussions of of it and now when yes. we are uh, you know very close to 2024 lok sabha election such statements are really not helping the opposition flank it is in fact uh, you know working uh, it is in fact uh, you know uh, working against them so therefore bjp is ensuring that uh, whenever such statement come you know it, uh, it right. is countered not only countered but also of course uh, it has uh, it has it has in fact taken amongst the masses that look uh, this is the mindset of these opposition leaders what they think about country's prime minister well the bjp have outrightly and strongly condemned her remarks accusing the opposition of lowering uh, the campaign standards i'm going to leave it at that arun thanks so much for joining us